Welcome to Unit 5, Week 2 for our spelling. Hope you got everything ready. You need to make sure you have your scissors, your sparkly new, which I just barely got. It's pretty cool. It's an Angry Birds one. A pencil, nice and sharp, ready to go. Your spelling bag to put your words in. Your spelling book. Remember, if you don't have your spelling book, then you can use a, a paper, but you'll have to copy it back into your spelling book. So make sure you remember that. And of course, the magic spelling words. All right, so let's get started. Yeah, let's do some cutting first. Make sure that you cut your words out every week while you are doing this. That way, you can make sure that you do your lay and say. The reason we do this spelling this way is that, oh, I got a little bit of glue on there. I have to get that taken care of. The reason why we do spelling this way, our lay and say, is because it helps you to recognize the patterns. To hear the patterns, that's why we want you to say the words. We want you to lay them in the patterns so you can see the words. So we're using all of your senses. We're touching them. We're moving them around. We're seeing them. We're saying them. And we are hearing us, ourselves say them. So it's fantastic how we do this. All right? Okay. So, ugh, got to get that glue off of there. So... I've got these here, and it looks like we're going to do some homophones. Homophones? I don't think they spelled that right. Interesting, P-H-O-N-E-S. We better write that, so I need you to write that in. H, P H in there. Homophone, the word homophone is a mixture of two words. Homo, which means same, and phone, which means sound. So as we talk about homophones, we're talking about words that have the same sound. Of course, see, you even said it. Well, at least I think you did. And so we're going to uh, talk about some words here that are spelled a little different. They sound the same but and have mean, different meanings and different spellings. So let's get some words spread out here. And see what we can do here. We've got some beautiful words. Now, there are some words in here that are not homophones. They are not similar in sound. And those would be our oddball words, right? So, make sure you get these all laid out. Don't just leave them in a pile. Lay them out. Take the time. This is going to be kind of a shorter video than usual. I think I might have said that. But... Uh, I'm going to have you do a little extra work on this, so I hope you're ready. We're going to let you learn some words as we get these all done. Oh, we're going to put that up there. We're going to put this one over here, and we're going to move these down here. So basically what we need to do, since they are words that are sound the same, but are uh, different meanings, that's what I'm going to have you do today. So I'm going to have you actually look up the words. Look up the words. Find out. What do they mean? Some, some of them you might already know. Ask your parents. Ask somebody around you. So let's talk about, let's see what we got here. Unit 5, week 1. Oh, oh, oh. It's a good thing you guys are catching me on this. Week 2. And we're going to do homophone. And we're going to do oddball over here. Okay, and the reason I want to do it over there is because I want to leave plenty of room, plenty of room for you to do a little work on this. All right, then we're going to put this over here, and it's going to be pretty easy for you to do your lay and say this week, because I'm probably just going to have you do one word on one side and, and just match those two words together. So when you do a lay and say, when you put these two words together, you're going to have word one and word two. All right. Got it? All right. So let's start out with our first word. The first word we're going to do is sweet. Sweet. Isn't that beautiful? Now, what does sweet mean? S-W-E-E-T. Sweet. Say it. Spell it. Sweet. That means, let's see, what does sweet mean? 
I would say it is pleasant tasting. Yeah, pleasant tasting. That is so wonderful. Pleasant tasting. I love things that are sweet. You love things that are sweet. And that goes right into my bag. See how that works? See how that works? I love that bag. Now we get into the second word. And this one is going to be sweet. Or sweet. Now, when I do these words, this one and two right here, that is when we just lay and say our words. Got it? Lay and say one and two. But as we do this, we're going to write it underneath it. Sweet. And what is a sweet? S-U-I-T-E. That is actually a set of rooms. You see what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to get you to know what these words are also. So you're going to have to remember to look some of these up, to talk about them, to do something. I'm going to do one more. All right? I'm going to do one more. Um, let's see. Oh, mm, oh, mm, ooh. Pole. P-O-L-L. And a pole is actually... A, uh, a process of voting. So we're going to put that. Process of voting. So when you take a poll, you actually are voting for something. All right. So there's P-O-L-L. And you can look these up anywhere you need to. You've got dictionaries. I'm, I'm sure if you don't have one at home and you've got the Internet, you can actually... because. <laughs> Some of you are actually doing this on the internet. You can actually look up the words on the internet also, if your parents will let you. P-O-L-E, pole, P-O-L-E. Now, see, this one has a couple different um, meanings, all right? Um, it's a, uh, a long, rounded... Um, how do we say this? A long, rounded piece of wood or metal. Okay? Now, a lot of these, I'm sure you can, you can do on your own. There might be a few that you do not know. Now, I don't want you to take forever doing these. Okay? R sort them out. Write all of them down here. Find the ones you do not know. And write those, find the meanings to them. Find two or three. Find five or six. Take your time and learn some of these. But remember, I only want you to do 20 minutes. 20 minutes. All right? It should take you only like five or ten minutes to actually get these written down. And then find some of the ones you don't know. Some of the ones you're like, oh, man, I have no clue what that is. Then go ahead and find the definition for that. Some of these you're going to know what they are, but you won't know how to, re how to write them out. I want as many of them done as you can. Got that? All right. So let me go over it one more time. Write all the words down first. Find the words you don't know what they are. Look them up. Write a short definition. See? Two, three, four, five, six words. Don't write a huge definition. And don't write a definition that you don't understand. Try to understand it before you write it. All right? Do all the ones you can, best that you can. All right? All right, I'm going to leave you to your work. Get her done. Have fun. Enjoy this. Learn.